Evie. Today, I wanted to go out to have some hibachi, but as we all know, that's not possible. So, I'm gonna have to make it myself. We are making some hibachi. We are doing hibachi. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Baker's Kitchen, cooking with Demetria Baker. Today, we are going to be making some hibachi. Yes, we are going to be doing some hibachi. I love the hibachi grill, and we're stuck in the house, so there's no restaurants, there's nothing to do um, outside of the house. So I decided why not make my own at home. And you guys are going to learn how to make it right here in Baker's Kitchen. So we're going to be doing a steak and a shrimp um, hibachi, and here we go. Let's jump right into it. So not only are we going to be making the steak and shrimp hibachi style meal today at home, we are also going to be doing their um, brown sauce as well. You know the little sauce they give you in a little bowl on the side? I know, I know. I like it. I actually love it. It tastes really good with the food. So we are going to be making that brown sauce as well. The ingredients we are going to be using for that is coming right up. So stay tuned. Okay, so for our brown sauce, we are going to be using some Hellman's. I am going to be using about a three-fourth cup. I told you I eyeball it, so yeah, I'm going to use not a three-fourth. I meant to say a one-third cup of mayo. So I will start off with a one-third cup of mayo and about four teaspoons of ketchup. I'm eyeballing mine, so, you know. And then also, we're going to go in with uh, a little onion powder. A little paprika. Oops, stop. It's a little bit stuck. A little paprika, paprika. A little bit of cayenne pepper. Not too much if you don't want it too spicy. And then we also gonna go in with some garlic powder. And then to that we are going to add some sugar. You're gonna mix that up with a little bit of butter. So I'm going to add a tiny bit more mayonnaise because I want to thicken this sauce up just a little bit more. And if you feel like yours get a little too thick for you, you can add water. See? We want about this consistency. That's pretty good. This is our brown sauce all done and ready to go in the fridge to chill while I get this steak. While I get this steak and this shrimp cooked and ready to go. Let's go on and move on to our next It's already all seasoned up and ready to go. So is our shrimp. Here's our mixed vegetables. Okay, so I have these mixed vegetables, which also has corn in it. I would have preferred for it to not have the corn in it. Um, I really would prefer just the peas and the carrots, but whatever, this is what they had, this is what I got, this is what we're going to be using today, um, and then we also have our zucchini, we're going to be cutting up that bad boy up in here, and we also, we have other ingredients that's not right here, this is just the main ingredients that we are going to be using, like I said, our steak, our shrimp, and our mixed vegetables. Okay, so we got our cast iron skillet ready to go for our steak with those grill mark lines all up there. Y'all see it popping. It's popping all over the place. I'm about to place my steak up in this pan. So here's our steak sizzling away. And while this steak is getting done, I'm going to wait for a little while before I throw my shrimp on. Like I said, I like my steak to be medium well. So I'm going to cook for about three to five three to four minutes on each side. And um, we're gonna just cut up our, dice up our zucchini. You can dice it up however you like. I'm just gonna do mine in three. 
So I'm going to cut it in three. I cut it in two spaces here and at the top. And then we'll have three pieces automatically. So then we can just cut them up just like that. So that way we don't have to waste any time cutting them in circles and then going back and dicing them smaller. So we dicing up our zucchini. We're gonna dice up the zucchini and we also gonna add a yellow onion onto this board as well. Okay, so we have our onion. I'm just gonna use half of this onion, probably not even the whole half, so I'm gonna set that to the side. And then for the onion, I, I want them to be pretty long, so I'm just gonna slice up down this middle a little bit so I can make it still pretty long, but not too long. So that way I have both of the slot the sides. So we got our zucchini and our onions all diced up and ready to go. Let me go and check on this steak and we'll be right back. Here's the first batch of our shrimp sizzling up, getting all done up for us. And that steak is just still over here sizzling away. So we're gonna let these shrimp cook for about one to two minutes. And then they're gonna be nice and done for us. The shrimp is flipped over to the other side. And I'm turning my pan off, five and six. And off the grill, we are gonna cut this steak up. We're gonna cube it up, just like how it's done at hibachi. So we're gonna dice this steak up. You can do it as small or as chunky as you like. Dice it up just like that. I'm gonna take my other piece off the grill, finish dicing up this one. Look how beautiful. The steak is coming out so good. It cooks for about two, three minutes on this side and you can see it's popping all crazy. And then it's, I'm gonna let it cook for about two, three minutes on the next side. You see those beautiful grill marks? Yes. Grilling, grilling, grilling. We are grilling. So I'm about to take this steak off in a minute, and then we're gonna go on ahead and get our rice and our eggs and our vegetables all mixed up and ready to go so this hibachi can be done and we can eat. And we can eat, yes. Yeah. Stay tuned. We're gonna add our veggies, our zucchini and our onion. You don't want them to get uh, too soft, but you also don't want them to be hard. So they are sizzling. So we're gonna let them cook down for just, like I said, today, um, a little um, soft, but not too soft and not too hard. You want them to still have some of it, you know, stiffness to it. You don't want it to be too um, limp. So we're gonna let these bad boys cook and then we'll be right back. Our veggies are about to come out. Just added some salt and pepper in the pan with the zucchini and onion. I'm about to take this out. I just wanted to give them a little bit, put a little bit of heat on them. And like I said before, I really wish that I would find would have found the um just the peas and the carrots mixed together and that would have been, you know, ideal for what for what I'm doing. But this one has string beans and corn. It's not the end of the world. It'll be okay. But if you could find just the corn and the um peas, I I you know, for some reason I recommend that. Only because we're gonna be putting eggs in this rice and egg is already yellow, the corn is yellow. I don't know, I just feel like it shouldn't be there. But, like I said, this is fine. 
Okay, so now we are going to go on on ahead and make our eggs. So our eggs is done. Now we're gonna go ahead on and get to frying up that rice. Stay tuned. Okay, so there we have our rice. We're gonna fry our rice up. So I put some butter and some olive oil inside of this pan with this rice. You're gonna start cooking up your rice just like that. And then to this rice, we're gonna add our, our mixed vegetables. And then we also gonna add in our egg. And let this rice fry, fry, fry. And then like I said before, when you um when you um making this fried rice, you wanna make sure your rice is not freshly done because I don't know, for some reason when it's freshly done. Freshly done rice, it'll um, like stick too much to the pan. If you could make your use a day old rice, that'll be good. Or use some rice that you cook um, hours beforehand, that'll work out as well. And then to this rice, we're gonna add some soy sauce. That's how we're gonna get our dark color. So you wanna add as much soy sauce as you like. To get that rice nice and dark, dark brown, so it won't be so white. We're gonna add some more soy sauce to this rice. And let that cook. See, the rice is starting to get, you wanna make sure all your rice and your egg and everything is coated with this soy sauce. So one of the um, uh, plating options we are going to do today is um, plate inside of a pineapple. We're going to make a pineapple bowl. So you guys are actually getting um, two videos in one. Yay! So, okay, so we what uh, Mr. Baker did was cut, uh, slice the pineapple down on all four sides. So here, 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 and here, and then down... Um, cubed it down the middle like he's doing now so you'll slice it on all four sides then cube it up so some slits this way and some slits that way and we'll be back to show you our uh two, we're going to do two different platings for this dish i thought it would be fun to um to do a pineapple um dish and as well as a regular traditional um dish so here is the pineapple like i said you're going to cut it each side on all four sides, one, two, three, and four, and then you're gonna slice it straight down the middle and then cube it the other way. And then scoop them out. So now we're gonna just scoop those um, pieces out and then we'll be back to show you guys the finished product. So to start off our plating, I am going to take this rice and put it inside of this bowl, fill it up, and we're gonna make a rice mold So you want to take your rice and put it all inside of this. So you want to press your rice down in your bowl to get your mold. Just keep, just press it down tight and firm. Don't spill the rice. And get it ready for your bowl. We'll okay, so right now back. that we have our rice mold on our plate, you've seen I put it in a bowl, pressed it down with a spoon. Now we're going to go on, on ahead and add our veggies. We're gonna add your veggies up on the plate. Then we're gonna go ahead on and add our steak. Okay. 
light out of the window. That's the okay, so we have our rice mold right there. Then we put our veggies right here on the side. We got our steak right here on the other side. We'll add a little bit more steak to this plate. You know, we got to make this plate nice and generous. Then we're going to go in with our shrimp. We're just going to add our shrimp right up on here. And there you go, you got your hibachi. Oh wait, hold up, we can't forget our sauce. Here's the sauce, we're gonna put your sauce right on the side. And there you go, you got your hibachi. At home, hibachi. You got your, that yummy sauce. You got your steak, your shrimp, and your zucchini and your onions. So now we're gonna go on ahead and um, plate that pineapple. Ain't that looking really good, guys? You don't even have to go out to the hibachis. You don't have to go to Benihana's. You don't have to go to any of those places. You can make this stuff at home yourself. You even got your sauce right there on the side. Yes. So let me go on on ahead and get a little taste of this. Mmm. It's really good. You guys are going to enjoy this at home hibachi. Stay tuned for the pineapple. So here is the pineapple bowl. Our hibachi pineapple bowl. Let me get that sauce. 